I think in terms of dating me, I think I'm quite simple but not basic. <laughs> it's just been a very hectic, like every week, every weekend is like four people at a time. That's what I've been doing lately, yeah. Why would you go down there? Why would you go into this dark, leafy alleyway at night on your own in your dressing gown? This is Cinema Dates, the dating show courtesy of Sky Cinema. Over the series, we're set to meet 20 real-life individuals who are looking for romance and are ready to be paired up on a date and perhaps bond over popcorn, a glass of Diablo and hopefully one of the thousands of films available on Sky Cinema. My dream scenario from today would be that we enjoy the film, um, we have really good conversation um, and start that journey so that we can sort of take it away from here. My dream outcome would be to be able to literally like link up with her as in like vibe with her because you never know she could be the one and she might not be but you never know don't you? I think I'm entering that period of life where a lot of my friends are getting married, having kids. So for me, I'm like, I think I'm ready for that. I think I'm ready to be with someone that, you know, we're working towards settling down. To be fair, it's not, not much about looks. It's more about um, personality for me. For example, I would love a girl to be driven. Like she wants to go places like me, as in like career wise. She wants to better herself all the time. Also looking for a girl with lots of banter. Like she knows how to, she's got the balance. She knows how to be funny. She knows how to be serious. And I'm your host, matchmaker and comedian, Michael Spicer. And I'll be watching along with you and commenting because who doesn't love being judged by a complete stranger? Cinema Dates is sponsored by the daringly delicious Diablo. Uh, my name's Rihanna. I am from Enfield. I'm 29 years old and I've been single for about five and a half years. I am one of those people that have been on the dating apps, uh, you know, swiping left and right. Oh, dating apps are the worst. They're the only apps that you delete and reinstall on a weekly basis. In terms of dating history, I, I haven't really, I would say in the first couple of years of being single, wasn't really doing very much in terms of seeking for a partner. I was pretty much focused on myself. My name is Terrell Miller, I'm 28, from East London, and um, I've been single now for three years. I just come out of a nine-year relationship literally like three years ago. I was kind of just relaxing a bit because I didn't want no one to be like a rebound, if you know what I mean. So I just thought I'd just chill by myself a bit. I like this guy. He seems uh, responsible. Then I just started going on lots of dates. It's just been a very hectic, like every week, every weekend is like four people at a time. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds terrible. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's what I've been doing lately, yeah. Yes, terrible. I like, um, Cute little gestures. I don't need sort of big fancy um, sort of let's go here or let's show off this or let's do that. Okay, do you mind bringing three women along with you? It's sort of let's spend time together, whether that's sort of driving around, sitting in a park. Park, yep, yeah, definitely did the park date. In a relationship, the values I find more important or most important is loyalty and trust. So trust and loyalty because trust I want to know that I can trust her within anything that we do. This is coming from four dates in one weekend, Guy. I'm excited to see who I've been sort of matched with um, and potentially, you know, what kind of conversation we might have. Um, but I am nervous, I can't lie. OK, it's time for Rihanna and Terrell to meet. Let's see how they get on. Hi, y'all. Hello. Hi. My name is Terrell. Hi, nice to meet you, I'm Rihanna. Nice to meet you, Rihanna. So how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Fantastic, in yeah? a great place. I know, it's, it's, it's quite like plush in here, it's nice. Yeah, it is nice, very big as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Keep your eyes focused on, yeah, that's it, that's it. So how you been? I'm, I'm good, a little nervous. A little nervous? Yeah, a little bit nervous, but I met you now, so I'm much better now. Oh. And you're very good looking as well, so <laughs> this is good. Thank you, handsome yourself. Tyrell, there you go, break the ice, well done. Now we're in. So what do you do then for yourself? Uh, you? So I'm a civil servant, actually. Um, okay. So we work for like central government oh, nice. um, as a project manager, but like on the side, I do a bit of modelling. A civil servant who models. I mean, I've seen it all now. So, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, trying something a bit different. <laughs> all right, so how, you, how long have you done it for then, the modelling? Oh, about a year. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I sort of started looking into it just after lockdown. Okay. Just to like do something a bit different, a bit more creative. Um, but like proper for the last year or so. So yeah, oh, nice. interesting, different, but yeah. yeah what about yourself? Imagine. Terrell is more nervous because his eyes are darting about all over the place, but it's very sweet. So I do a bit of modeling as well, actually. Okay. 
Um, but my main job is uh, lorry driving. Okay. A lorry driver who models. Now I've seen everything. And um, I do a bit of PT in as well. Okay, I can see that. I um, can see that. <laughs> my jobs, I have four jobs. And um, my first, my main one is lorry driving. Um, my second one is a promoter. My third one is a um, butler in the buff. And then um, my fourth one is modelling. If I was to get into a relationship, I would slow down on the butler thing. And then with the promoting, I know some girls are funny with the promoting because it involves a lot of girls. It's like getting tables, booking tables for people. And then I just have to see how she feels about it. What do you like doing in your spare time then? Ooh, I'm one of these people that loves to like keep myself active and learning. I like to do a bit of dance as well, which I've started doing recently. Oh, wicked. Um, so just a little contemporary hip hop sort of thing. Oh, you're um, body popping going on in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bit awkward at the start, but now there's some laughing and flirting. So we're, we're in. Black and Americano, no sugar. Thank yeah. you. So here's Aidan with some refreshments, some popcorn, and some awkward questions for our Halloween special. There you go, Rihanna. Try not to drop that, there. <laughs> I found you a nice and some glass. There we go. Thank apple you juice. so much. We've got some popcorn. Oh, thank you very much. And Terrell, I have some questions, so why don't you take a look at those? If you could experience a film for the first time all over again, which film would it be and why? I like that question. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to say The Matrix. Ooh. Because I show. think it's one of those like really thought-provoking films. Mm. But at the time that it came out, I was probably a little bit too young to appreciate it. Okay, I got you. So I'm in between two movies. Mm -hmm. So Avatar, not the last Airbender, the, the blue ones. So it's either Avatar, the first one. Okay. Or Avengers, the first one. Oh. Oh. You've given two. Why for both? Because, okay, I'll start with um, Avengers. Mm -hmm. I just love Avengers, like, I think <laughs> Marvel is my number one choice and yeah. it just got me so pumped. I had to go gym after. <laughs> when I watched that, I was like, yeah, this is the film. I've never wanted to pump iron just because I've watched a good film. Okay, okay. so the last thing we were talking about before we started reading this out. Yeah. Lastly, what do you like to do and stuff in your spare time, innit? So I'll tell you what I like to do now as well. Look at, look at, look at Rihanna. Look at Rihanna. Look at Rihanna. Eye contact. Come on, that's really important. I've actually picked up something new as well, roller skating. Serious? Yeah. Okay, okay, I hear for it, because I, um, I wanted to go Roller Nation. That's where I go all the time, I actually live there. You live at Roller Nation? That sounds really inconvenient. I would have to roll through. But, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Can you skate though? Pardon? Can you skate? Oh, no. Oh, you can't skate? No, oh, no, no, I've never, I've never, but you know when you see people doing it and it just looks effortless? Yeah. Especially like when it's like with the music and everything. I would love to, but I'm worried that like you one of my fears is like falling over and like breaking my neck. Falling over and breaking your neck. That's the excuse I use for virtually everything. Do you like horrors? Not a massive fan of horrors. I will watch a horror yeah. if someone then is in the room with me and we have the light <laughs> on. That is oh, fine. And the light's on. And the light's on. They won't put the light on at the cinema, Rihanna. I don't think that's going to work. I had an experience where we went to see Paran Paranormal. Oh yeah, yeah. And during the film, absolutely fine laughing like ha, ha ha like that's never gonna happen <laughs> yeah went home went to bed went to sleep could i sleep no way <laughs> could serious I sleep? like literally oh i couldn't sleep for weeks after that but that's because i my house is haunted yeah, when i was a bit younger like around yeah. like 12 i watched the ring and oh my god that's a different level that one that's a different level i think i was scared <laughs> for a good two years that one <sighs> killed me and as i said i had a I had a um, TV at the bottom of my bed. Have you seen the ring though? You've definitely seen it. I've yeah? seen it, yeah, yeah. I had a TV at the bottom of my bed. So I used to think that she was going to come out of the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I had to dash out the TV after like six months. I thought, I'm not doing this no more. So we gave Rihanna a choice of spooky films to watch from Sky Cinema. Let's hope she made the right decision. So, oh. Rihanna, what film are we watching? Uh, Megan. 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 Have you seen it? That's the shark film, isn't it? The shark film? Oh no, Megan is the robot girl, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so it's Meg, sorry, so I, I think there's Meg and Megan, yeah, so this is Megan. Too. Wow, I'd love to see a, a, a mash of Meg and Megan. Like a robot shark, amazing. So Megan is the, the, the robot. The robot. I have seen it, actually. I have seen it. For her sake, he could have pretended that he hadn't seen it. That's just ruined everything. What did, what did you think? Because I've not seen it. Oh, you've seen it? Mm. Um, it's a good film, it's very intense. Okay. Very intense film, but yeah, I did enjoy it. Well, let's hope you enjoy it again. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this film <laughs> and seeing what it, like, what happens. It sounds like there's going to be a few twists and turns yeah, in there. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Should be good, though, so when you're ready. 
Should we go in? Yeah, we should, yeah. yeah. Cool. Today we have the sci-fi comedy horror spectacular Megan. Now, it is a horror, Rihanna, but I don't think it will be nightmare-inducing. It's more of a fun knockabout horror. I'll give you a quick spoiler-free rundown of the plot. A tech developer with the best intentions makes a super-advanced mega-sassy robot companion Dom, which becomes best friends with her niece, who she's recently become a guardian for. I don't want to give any more away because it's such a fun, wild ride. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it on Sky Cinema. I highly recommend it. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a really good film. I would highly recommend. Um, I think the first half of the film uh, really set the scene in terms of what's coming next. I don't like it when they set the scene. I like to be confused all the time. It's got some funny moments in there, a lot of like jumpy moments in there. The movie's good. She's good company. We were talking throughout the movie as well. And because I've seen it, she keeps trying to ask me like, what's left in this? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to tell you, you know, so you have to watch it, but, but she is getting, she's getting a drift of what's going to happen next. So I think the date's going quite well. Um, I think when we had the initial sort of intro, getting to know each other before, um, the conversation flowed. Um, I think we're on the same, similar page on some of the answers, which is quite cool and quite nice. Uh, the date's going really well, actually. She's very chatty, she's easy to talk to. Um, we get along a lot of stuff as well, and we live right next to each other as well, which is kind of crazy. So, how do you find the film? I thought it was a very thoroughly good film, like, had enough of the thrill. Slight tip into the horror, but I mean, it was good, yeah. What do you think was the scariest part? Maybe the scariest part actually was where she was, like, following the neighbour. Oh, spoiler alert. Oh yeah. Well, when she went into the garage and... Yeah, and it was oh, kind of yeah. like, why, why would you go down there? Why would you go into this dark, leafy alleyway... At night. At night, on your own, in your dressing gown? Because it's a horror film and horror films don't make sense ever. And then yeah, her good. popping up out of nowhere. Yeah, At that, that point, was... I would have run. Or my soul would have left my body. Yeah. I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about you then. So About you, me? Yeah, <laughs> so you go, first. So, know. so how was your past relationships and dating life? Past relationships, so I've been single for like five and a half years. Okay. Um, and in that time I've been sort of focused on myself um, and then on the dreaded dating apps. <laughs> oh, which ones do you use then? Um, Hinge, okay. mostly. Been on Bumble, been on Tinder. I don't really like the dating apps just because you don't have that sort of personal interaction uh, that you get obviously with face to face. And it's a, bit, it's a bit harder to sort of judge people's reactions to what you might say. Uh, you get some very strange comments on there. Um, so it's, yeah, it's not as direct as it would be, say, meeting someone face to face. Yeah, never mind apps. Go on a podcast and be commented on by me. Ooh. There you go. I'll put that there for now. Wine. Now Aidan returns with some wine, courtesy of our wonderful sponsors Diablo, and some dare to share questions, which I really enjoy. Diablo dares you to share. There you go. Mm. Thank you. Diablo dare to share. And what's the naughtiest, cheekiest thing you've ever done on a date? Oh, that's a good one. I've not been too naughty, because I kind of know my place in a way. Like, <laughs> I, I know, like, I kind of know how to read the room a little bit. Yeah. So I've not done nothing kind of crazy, but... I think the craziest thing I've ever done is probably kiss on the first date. Whoa, steady on, that's naughty. I have been on a date where someone was cheeky enough to like try. Oh, he tried and it. it was kind of like, oh. Oh. Cheek. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, you went from the lips straight away? <laughs> yeah. And it was like, bye. Oh, okay. oh no. Yeah. He couldn't recover from that, surely. I mean, yeah, we didn't speak again after oh. that. But <laughs> What's a wild question for a first date? I think one of the wild questions that I've had in the past is what's your favorite position in bed on the first day? And I was just like, wow. Very, <laughs> very, very forward. forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very forward, very embarrassing. And now you have to ask Rihanna. And did you respond to that? At first I was like, oh, I kind of paused for a bit and I thought about it, but not in a weird way, like very quickly. Yeah. And then I said it and I was like, oh, do you do, you do this often? Like, so what's his question? <laughs> like, you don't have to answer, but what is, what's your craziest fantasy? Or kink. Do you have a kink? Yeah, I do have a couple actually. A couple? Yeah. Wow, okay. A couple, great. Let's get the notebooks out. Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> One of them was to have um, sex on a plane. Oh, okay. Mile High Club, is that what that is? 
Or is that something completely different? Am I just showing my colours here? Like, OK, they've had their refreshments. They've watched the film. They've had a bit of a flirty conversation. Now for the cliched bit. Do they want to see each other again? Yes, I would like to see Rihanna again. And the reason why is because we get on really well and I want to know more about her. Yes. Job done. Yeah, I would like to see him again. Um, and the reason because you're very easygoing, easy to talk to, lovely guy, and I think there's more that I would like to explore there. Hmm. That would have been really awkward if she said no. Any ideas for a second day? Yeah, we decided already. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all escaping. <laughs> we're definitely going to go She also learned, yeah. 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 Maybe so. like jump in there, get in there early. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Why not? It's coming back, so. <laughs> well, that was another success. I love it when it happens like that. Thank you for joining me on this spooky edition of Cinema Dates. I've been Michael Spicer. Please join us again.